That was fast. Wynn last month had offered some crazy cell phone deal. Basically you can get 10 gigabytes of data for about $60 and it's something that's unheard of in Canada. So I went ahead and I signed up for an iPhone 8 Plus on their, uh, I guess, mobile carrier platform. And I wanted to do a review of what I've experienced so far on the service. Right now I'm in the middle of the subway and we still have the same reception. Only Freedom that has the ability to be in the subway tower. I think uh, Rogers Bell and Telus tried to prevent something from happening in the subway systems like a whole like six, seven years ago and the only company that decided to sign on with uh, the new company that was servicing the underground networks was Wind at the time. So Wind has complete service in a lot of the different tunnels all over the city. So I've been using Wind, or now it's called Freedom, for the last month, and things have improved quite a bit since I tried them last time over about a year ago. But let me explain. So Freedom Mobile used to be a company called Wind, and Wind was owned by an Egyptian billionaire about a, until about a year ago. Back when it was Wind, the service was just absolutely terrible. I tested it and it was just literally the worst. There would be dead zones. I've had better service in the middle of nowhere in Cambodia than I had with wind in the middle of downtown Toronto. Um, now, that was over about a year ago. Shaw Communications have bought it somewhere about that time, and things have gotten a lot better since then. I'm not being paid by them, so this is just like my own independent review. I'm buying jeans right now. Now, I know that this is something that's gonna be completely subjective. I'm just basing it based off with my experiences of where I've been uh, in Toronto with the Freedom Service. Uh, but for what end, you know, it's also dependent on what phone you have as well. So I was using the iPhone 6 that had the old 3G service, and I upgraded to the iPhone 8 Plus that's using the new, they have like new two bands. Another side note is that Wynn had told me that the GTA LTE rollout is not going to be complete until April. So there's a lot of like places that are still developing for Toronto. But overall, when the service works, things are great. You have super fast speeds, the LTE speeds, I have faster speeds than my internet at home. But then when it sucks, things go really, really slow. Is that where I'm going? Holy crap, look at how many people are here. Holy crap. <laughs> this was completely on it's like a Monday. Alright, so I was planning to film a bit here, but the wait is like an hour for a table, so I'm just gonna move on. A lot busier than I expected. So I treat it like this. Basically, if you are looking for a new provider, you don't like Rogers, Bell, Talos, or any one of the sub brands that they have. Wind is actually a very good, very good option, but it's really dependent on where you are. Now, one of the common things people used to say is that it's only good for people that live in the city, not very good for people that's rural, and that's more or less still true. Um, there's still a home slash away area where Wind's towers are very situated inside cities, and once you go outside the cities, you move on to Rogers or Bell, and they charge you a very different form factor. But if you mean if most of your time is within the city, uh, so for Toronto, you're talking like all of Hamilton, all of the GTA, all of the um, Niagara Falls region. You're pretty much good to go. Are they still building more stuff? Holy crap. Didn't know that. Cool. How far in advance of the book for a test drive? A um, couple of weeks. Yeah. Right? It's a lot like testing a new company that has like a new idea of how things work and you know, there's like a risk factor involved and if the risk works out, if you sign up for a plan today, you're going to get an amazing plan at a really low price, which is probably going to last forever. But if you wait until later on where they like 
become good and now they are just as good as Bell Rogers tell Bell, Bell Rogers tell us then suddenly you'll be paying the same prices as the competitors and that's not so great I used to work here okay so here's the appendix basically if you ever see when it's the thing hey hey how are you doing So here's the appendix. Basically, if you ever see your signal go from LTE to 3G outside of the subway, that means that your service has gone to shit. 3G is absolutely horrible still, but when you're on LTE, it's great. I've, seen, I've noticed that LTE is happening more and more around the city, so that is probably going to change with over the next couple of months. Uh, but the speeds, what I'm looking at, we're looking at probably about 75 megabytes per second or something crazy like that. So. Things are great. What am I doing here? Uh, this is something that I have to deal with the take with on the next video. Oh, I'm so Please mad with that. Oh man, this is where the big boys came out to play. Oh, it's been so long. Hey, how are you doing? Beautiful day. Oh, things are good. How are you? Good. I've been mean, saying this is the best burrito place in the world forever. Oh, good. Yeah. So I said in everyone. Hmm? I said it's all the ones you go to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably my favorite restaurant in the city. And, you know, if you want to get the best burrito, it's a little bit more expensive than the usual, but you can get halibut and steak, no green onions, extra rice, extra tomatoes, extra spicy, maybe add a little bit more cheese, things are great. They come with everything here comes with guacamole automatically. It's a little pricey, but it's, it's definitely the best. This is the iconic food eating shot. We're gonna head off to another thing. We're going to a New York Times food review. But before that, I have to visit a tourism board. I really should have brought my boosted board today. I know it's snowing, it's probably gonna be super terrible, but I'm gonna get from point A to point B really, really quickly, and that's the only thing I really care about. I waste so much time getting from one place to the next. U of T. Okay, I guess the point I'm trying to make is if Freedom had the ability to make win, no wait. Rogers Bell tell us do a reactionary 10 gigabyte deal for about three, four days. And now that when Freedom also has the iPhone, Apple doesn't usually deal with providers that don't have great service, then it can't be that bad, right? Things are looking up. I'm pretty excited about being with Freedom. And you know, if everything goes to shit, I'll tell you guys if everything goes to shit, but so far, Everything has been okay, and I know it's gonna get better. And it's cheap. If I signed up for an iPhone 8 Plus on TELUS or whatever, it would have been like $150 a month for something, or something stupidly ridiculous. Right now, I'm only paying 60, 70, 70, 75 right now. Things are great. All right, I'm heading off to like some New York Times thing. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. If you don't want, this is the end of the win review. Now we're gonna do some fun stuff. All right, something is happening here. All right, so that was a pretty interesting talk about Syrian cuisine in Toronto and how there's immigrants influence everything in the dynamic of the city. Couldn't record any of that, but that's okay. Uh, we're heading up to try some Syrian dishes now. Hi. 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 Where's the food? Nice seeing you. We're here. I'm eating the cover dinner. Oh yeah, there's some food. <laughs> this is the flatbread from uh, That's the flatbread. The hummus is really good. Where is where are you guys getting those food? This corner. Oh, it's really good. Okay, I'm gonna get some food. Alright, so I guess we got that. And hummus. It all has been settled into our house. They need money, so we said.
Look at that. Okay, we got the food. It's chaos here. Well, when you do it professionally, you have to like <laughs> actually food. There's like food on my camera and stuff. Jesus Christ. There's a napkin. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, great. Okay, I'm gonna put that back down. Thank you for that. Uh, okay, so this is a Syrian meatball. This is a meatball? Depends if you got the meat one or yeah. the I have no idea what I grabbed it's there. It's a kibbe. A kibbe. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely meat. It's really good. Oh, this is really good. Coconut. I'm trying to dessert. Does anyone know what this is called? No. 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 no but it's really good. A lot of coconut. A lot of coconut. Yep. Oh my God! We've got three. <laughs> this is really good. Where's this? <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, pretty great, authentic. John is like standing beside me. She's like, hi. Hi. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I met. She's the one that won the Taiwan Now boarding event after I did. She got yes. sent to Taiwan for free. Yeah, I did. In a limo. In a limo. Yeah. Ten minutes to pack. Mm. <laughs> it was a fun trip. But I'll see you guys there. Yeah, again, what is that? This is a best pusa. Are you sure? Yes. It's a decadent, it's a decadent coconut dessert made from Syria. It's so good. <laughs> did, did you just do that because you want to do it? You have any bread and you Okay, nice seeing you guys. Bye, Bye guys. Nice. See you at the next event. Yeah, I'll see you. Alright, and that's the end of today's vlog. I'll see you guys later.